Hey y'all, got my Orange County mug today. These are all Starbucks mugs. I got about 50 of them, depending on what cities I've traveled to. Let's get smacking. Oh, I wanted to show you too, I shaved today. I was getting sick of that quarantine beard. I was feeling like uh, I was just like everybody else. Uh, I wanted to kind of clean up and brush my teeth too. <clears throat> Number 46, Johnny Carson once said, for three days after death, hair and fingernails continue to grow, but the phone calls taper off. Ooh. 47. Barrett Wendell, 1855 to 1921. I wonder if anybody reached the age of 35 in New England without wanting to kill himself. I think it was before the Tom Brady years. I can bet it's before the Tom Brady years. Number 48. S.N. Behrman. This is on the on reaching the age of 75. I've had just enough about I'm sorry. 48. I've had just about all I can take of myself. That's on turning 75. 49. J.P. Dunleavy. When you don't have any money, the problem is food. When you have money, it's sex. When you have both, it's health. If everything is simply perfect, then you're frightened of death. 50, Bertrand Russell. Most people would sooner die than think. In fact, they do so. The great Ambrose Beers, number 51. Early one June morning in 1872, I murdered my father, an act which made a deep impression on me at the time. Bilby Porteus, 1731 to 1808, number 52. One murder makes a villain, millions a hero. Truth, truth. Thomas de Quincey, 19, I'm sorry, 1785 to 1859. That's number 53. If once a man indulges himself in murder, he soon comes to think of a little of robbing. And from robbing, he next comes to drinking and Sabbath breaking. And from that, to incivility and procrastination. Number 54. A murderer is one who is presumed innocent until proven insane. Number 55, Groucho Marx, the great Groucho Marx. Either this man is dead or my watch has stopped. <laughs> That's good. That wraps up death. So uh, we're going to get to money tomorrow. Anyway, love you all. I will see you later.